Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, or whatever time you're watching this. Welcome back to more Space Marine 2. Yep, I'm playing Bulwark again. Uh, and I just, you know, I was thinking about something. Have you ever been sitting somewhere, be it on a uh, lunch table, bench, wherever, or just even just standing somewhere, and you you are planning on um, sort of moving, uh, but then someone like sort of sits next to you? Do you still get up and move, or do you wait a few minutes to not hurt the person's feelings? Me, personally, I think you have to stay. I think even if you don't talk with, you don't have to acknowledge the person, you don't even have to talk to them, you just have to wait like two, three minutes before you get up and move. I think, because you don't want to hurt the person's feeling, right? Because I feel like, you know, you know, there's some things you just don't do. And getting up to move there is a thing you don't do. Uh, we're going to be planning on playing Bulwark today, although we might play tactical depending. Uh, speaking of tactical, I've heard... Rumor on the wind that the goaded tactical weapon is not the melt, not the plasma incinerated, not even heavy bolt rifle. It is the under barrel grenade launcher. Apparently, that's the goaded. That's the that's the gun with the sauce. So I, I gotta I gotta level that up. Quite frankly, uh, I mean I don't have it equipped right now. So even if I if it works here, I'll be playing with heavy bolt rifle. So, uh, but man, I, let me tell you about the ordeal I had. So I was cleaning out my PC yesterday. I was uninstalling a bunch of shit I don't use, a bunch of Steam games like the left. Like when you install a Steam game, if unless you go to the like some of the shit will still stick around if you don't go to the files and delete the game file itself. Because it's like old games. I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna play this again. Ah, I didn't really like this. You know, this, that, the other. Or like, yeah, I don't really mind restarting this if I need to. Uh, and just clearing out a bunch of stuff I don't use anymore, like Rockstar companion stuff. And I delete. And Epic Games was like, I don't play Fortnite. I don't play any Epic games. Uh, let me un uninstall it. So I did. I unstalled all the files. Went to go boot up Space Marine 2. Apparently Space Marine 2 uses Epic's, Epic's online services. I didn't know that. Uh, well, it looks like we're playing tactical. Uh, eh, we're close enough to the beginning for me not to feel bad about it. Vote to kick solid. Cheat. I didn't even know there was a, a vote kick button. What is going on here? Why are we voting to kick this guy? Where's my aim button? Oh, there we are. I sent the wrong button like a dumbass. Uh, and so I, my head was like, oh, let me, you know, they were like, oh, verify your files. I was like, okay, I did that. I did it a few times. Uh, I got a button that was like, oh. Uh, sorry, one sec. And it, it took me far too... I was looking for a bunch of things I was looking online. It took me far too long to just be like, wait, just reinstall the Epic Games launcher. It'll install the online services. So that was it took an embarrassingly large amount of time to do. And, you know, but you know what? We're back. We're here. Oh, already being rezzed. Oh, I got a black Templar. I just noticed. Uh, I didn't realize the Vanguard's level eight. Why is he level eight? He's a bond. Just pop, double pop the grenades there. Ah. Oh, there's the Ravener. You know, I made a joke in my stream about the Ravener's grapple attack being like the XCOM Snake Ladies. Uh, and no one got it, and I felt really old. Oh, we got Dad here. Dad replaced our Vanguard. Uh... You know, my favorite thing about the uh, the XCOM 2 Snake Ladies is that apparently for, like, the grapple thing... Oh, my God. Ow. Oh, why are they all the way up there? I've been abandoned. Uh, anyway. I didn't realize I was just ditched. Uh, um... 
Where was I? Yeah, the, the, their grapple, they gyrate the hips, and it's... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But apparently the devs didn't understand how people found it sexy. They thought it was scary. And I'm like, really? You animated? Like, ask the animators. See what they think. Guarantee you, one of the animators was like, God damn, I wish that was me. It's like, like if it was just like a classic snake, like like snake grapple, that makes sense, right? That makes more sense to me. Like, okay, if it's just like a, a, a horrifying snake alien grappling you, that makes sense. Uh, that's scary. But the way they gyrate the hips, it's like, come on. And plus, they kind of made this. I'm not gonna lie, the snakes are kind of, you know. But, you know, it, that is one thing. Why snakes are, so, like, snake ladies are very popular in the monster fucker community. It's like, they are, they have, the hips are crazy. The hips go, they are, like, all hip, if you think about it. So if you're into hips, you know, snake ladies are the monster for you, you know? Uh, I mean, if I, like, you know, <laughs> I'm, look, my opinions on monster fucking aside, snake ladies are up there for me, you know? Like, you know, like, Vicar Amelia is, like, number one. Don't ask why. Snake Ladies. The Neurolictor. Um. I'm trying to think of other monsters. Do vampires count? I feel like vampires is cheating. Because that's, like, that's just an extra spicy human, you know? Okay, we can kill the Tyranids. Dad, kill the Tyranids. Dad, you have, you have ammo in your mouth to kill the Tyranids. Dade. Alright, let's watch the Black Templar. This guy bought the DLC because he's got the Black Templar helmet. I'm up in 15. Uh... Yeah, and yes, you did hear right. I did say the Neuralictor. I mean, look at the Neuralictor. Like, come on. <laughs> come on. Let's be real here. Although I will say, I'm not, I've never been, you know, I'm not much of a, as the youth would refer, as a robot fucker, you know? Not in the robots. Well, mmm, some robots. I, I could see, definitely see some robots, but I'm not like... Some robots are... Some robot fuckers are... Ow! A little bit more into it than I am. Like, Billy the Billy from Zenless Zone Zero, that guy's a robot. Would smash, but like, you know, it's like... Once again, it kind of feels like cheating. You know? Speaking of robots, Concord. Tyranny blood and guts are not much different from Orky Gore. Close up my chainsaw just the same. Wait, Decimus doesn't have a ch oh no, he does. This is where we sow the enemy's defeat. For some reason, I thought Desmus only had the knife. Uh, anyway, Concord has some shitty designs, right? Now, we all know Concord has very poor, piss-poor designs that don't really hit the vibe of the Guardians of the Galaxy vibe they're de clearly at least trying to go for. And, it, you know, like, especially, and I think one thing, as a hero shooter, right, designs are, like, you can, like... Dark Tide, right? The character design, the player des character designs, you know, it's a little customizable, but generally it's it's three ogrens, or sorry, uh, and a big boy and three normal sized boys, right? Uh, when they're scanned, they can't recall. That's why I did that, by the way. Um, but for a hero shooter. Your silhouette and your design is very important. You want it to be not only be identifiable in a team fight, but also it's express sort of what your the character does. 
it's like a good example it maybe a little too on the nose for some would for some would be like um team fortress 2 right the medic is very clearly a medic the scout's very clearly like fast he's wearing like jogging outfit uh, and all this stuff, and the, obviously the heavy, he's the big guy, the you know, the engineer literally has a construction hat and overalls, the spies like this friend, you know, TF2, very on the nose, perhaps a little unfair to compare, uh, in terms of expressing what a character does through character design. But like, let's look at Overwatch, for example, right? You have all these, uh, you know, characters, wins the, all the tanks, very big, Roadhog, very large, very imposing, you know, fat guy, uh, and he's got a, a hook and a shotgun, very clearly like, okay, this guy's like a semi-close range tank. Reinhardt literally is a big guy in armor uh, with a hammer, close range tank. Winston is a monkey with a jetpack and a, an electric gun, right? Very big, very large. The tanks are all very large, very expressive of what they do. Uh, some of the smaller characters, obviously, they're like, okay, well, this girl's clearly a, a ninja of some sort. She throws kunai and teleports around. Um, oh, phew. Ow. Um, and then there's like, you know, like, in like smaller characters, like, okay, like Anna, Widowmaker, very clearly Sniper, Tracer's very clearly this fast one, she's in like, leggings and stuff, and like, you know, she has like a fighter jacket, she's very clearly like, meant to be designed for speed. Then you have like Reaper with double shotguns and a, and a cloak. It's like, okay, this guy's like a, a somewhat of an assassin almost. Very clear of what he's intended to do. And then you have a. Uh, and really. And what I'm getting then, and then you have characters like Soldier 76, who is very basic design compared to the rest of the Overwatch cast. He's Johnny Call of Duty, right? Uh, he's just a guy in a racing jacket and he has a gun. Um, and to tie that back to what I was talking about, Concord. Is that Concord's most interesting character design is a very bland looking robot, but the issue, uh, I missed, uh, is that when every other character looks so bland, that one doesn't, that one somehow doesn't s stick out even more. It's like when you have very basic character designs, they stick out more when the rest of the character designs are really crazy. Like when every other character looks like John or Jane Concord, it's like, well... Uh, it's hard to really have this like pill guy look cool because if every other character still in there there we are uh, I didn't realize that wasn't just I didn't realize that had depth um, when every other character is bland to look at your bland, your purposely designed, like simple design character falls even flatter on its face. Like if you look up a lot of some artists are doing like, oh, they they're redesigning Concord, like characters to like actually look interesting, uh, and they're just doing it way better because actually like make it look like what it's intended to be a Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Wars kind of vibe. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Clear a blast radius. Anything shocking. All specs ready to scan. Anyway, I don't know how like Concord incredibly surprising that Concord made it as far as it did for being like like they had to have play tests, right? Like there's no way that that game just like didn't have any playtests, right? My execute. There we are. Got my execute. Just absolutely fascinating how that, that game. Just thinking of that game just fascinates me. At what, like eight years and a hundred million dollars in? At one point, you're like, hmm. You know what? Maybe this isn't it. You know, if Concord was a story game, not a hero shooter, like if this Guardians of the Galaxy story game, yeah, the character design could be better, but I feel like I would have been way more interested, because it's like, okay, I see what we're cooking with here, right? Could have been interesting. 
Like, when I saw that 10-minute cinematic or tra trailer they had for that Gamescom, I was like, okay, this... this I was, I was kind of interested. I was like, okay, we're clearly like some smugglers, the Han Solo, Guardians of the Galaxy shit. Let's get. I'm okay. I'm interested to see what this is. We got a big guy. We got this like this kind of snarky guy, and we got like this girl who's like kind of like all business, and then it's a hero shooter. And I'm like, okay, well, I've lost all interest. Like, not to mention, hero shooters are already an incredibly saturated market with two like massive competitors already in it. Being like well, Overwatch and um, I guess TF not really TF2, TF2 just Overwatch really. But obviously, and then we look at uh, to go back to my point about simple designs uh, sticking out in a game, when, and if all your designs are exquisite, right? Um, uh, one second. Get him, Dad. Um, like, look at Deadlock. All these crazy MOBA characters are like, are they like one dude's on fire. One like lady's got like a ghost, ghost arm that's like corrupting the rest of her body. One lady's like the most like uh, samurai lady to ever samurai. Uh, and then there's like a ghost girl with a sniper rifle, and she, she looks pretty cool. She's like a Salem witch, and like that's really cool. Um, and then there's like a robot guy. There's like a classic boxer, like the 1960s New York vibe is off the charts. And then there's just a mole, a giant mole man, who's just in a tank top, some work work pants, and a and a and a cap. It's like yes, and he's got a little guy on his back that's also in work pants and a cap. Or not a cap, but like just basic like New York street kind of street rat clothes. It's like yes, this Mo and Krill stick out in Deadlock because all the other designs are so like strong and a little over the top. Not say I'm not saying Mo and Krill's design isn't bad. I'm saying Mo and Krill's design is good because it so lovingly contrasts the rest of the characters' designs. Like, Roadhog is another example of the, the Overwatch thing. Like, a very simple design sticking out. Because Roadhog is just a fat guy in some biker gear, right? Like, he's nothing, like, crazy. But he sticks out because he's a, he's huge and he like he's, like... He's got a, a nice little gimmick of, like, the Roadhog mask and a big belly. We have arrived at Nozick facility. Run distraction efforts as long as you can. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. League of Legends doesn't really have any, like, simple character designs, because every... Mm, actually, there's a few designs in uh, League of Legends where I'm like, we could have cooked here. This is too simple. Although League of Legends has sort of the excuse of having almost, like, what, 150-something champions, so, like, they're gonna... Not everyone's gonna be a banger. Like, I think big problems with that is, like, Zeri... It was like coming from Zahn, and if you watched Arcane, you know Zahn is like augments, chemtech, like rebreathers, like like punk punk aesthetics, and all Zarya is is she has like spiky twin tails and like a big leather coat. And I'm like, it could have been cool if she had like a augmented arm or like maybe some like like cool like little face platings or something, you know. But yeah, Zeri just is Zarya is an example of a, a bland vibe that doesn't fit with the rest of her crew. Neela is sort of another example. She's very like. Um, her aesthetic is very like Indian with her outfit and stuff. I don't know what the, the outfits would be, but like it's very like Indian fashion style. She's she's a uh, I fucked up that Perry. Um, what is mincing me? Did I just take like poison damage or something? I don't know. But, uh, where was I? My cannot even compute their numbers. Sorry, I'm taking a screenshot for the thumbnail. Um, and like, and Neela, but like, Neela's supposedly in Bilgewater. She's from Ionia, is in Bilgewater. She doesn't have any Bilgewater looking traits. And I guess because you could say, oh, she's from Ionia, but like, if she's been in Bilgewater for this long, 
you're telling me she hasn't picked up a few scars? She hasn't picked up, like, some tattoos? She's in the land of pirates and it does, looks nothing like a pirate? It's like, oh, okay. A bit of a flop for my games there. And then there's, like, Seraphine, right? Who, I guess, kind of fits the vibe of Peltover, but it's like... Okay, Seraphine, you were invented for KDA before Runeterra. I get it. I'll let Dad take that. I'm taking these grenades, though. I'm full on ammo. I kind of took the Melta for this section. Actually, you probably would have been okay. Since you're not really going to have to worry about Neurothropes here. But I think it's fine taking the Heavy Bolt Rifle. The Heavy Bolt Rifle is fine. I do want to level up, as I said, my Bolt Rifle... Grenade launcher. Where are we going? There. Don't think I'm going to be able to make it to the gas before. Hello? Oh, f I may have, I may have fucked up. Hey. There, execute obtain. I wish more people knew about the the goddamn Prometheum vents. Wasn't able to ignite in time. No. But uh, unfortunately, not enough people know about the the old Prometheum vents. They do tell you about it, but they don't exactly make it clear how you're supposed to do it. You have to go to those ones, and you can ignite it with that one. I was going to wait for the Tyranid Warrior to jump down before he did that, but I suppose that's fine. Hello? Armor, please. Halfway there, brothers. Keep it up. Ah, spore mines, fuck off. Give me this execute, please. Now here's the optimal chain sword combo. One, two, three, and then you hold heavy for stomp. This is a big AoE. First, don't get hit by a spore mine like I did. Get the armor ex ammo execute. Oy. Spore mines. Get this execute real quick. Oh, let me just get the. Oh, unlucky. What am I mean? I was being shot at from behind somewhere. Hold on, see if I can get to the Promethean vents. Burn a few of them. Alrighty. Should be done in a second here.
I really ought to tap fire the heavy bolter more, at, especially at range, because look how much, you, like, how quick you lose, like, you know. Even with perks to reduce recoil and spread, the bolt, the heavy bolt rifle just absolutely chews through your. I was gonna say chews through your recoil, but that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. Ugh. That can't be good. Look at that Carnifex. Look at him go. Big chunky boy. Nice. Extraction. Oh, that was a good round. Oh. Got a little dicey there towards the beginning when they died, but you know that's you know I, you know, I wasn't I, I didn't think I was being abandoned, so that's on my that's on me. Could have played it better as well. Probably could have won. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, tactical obviously wants to play at range, so it's kind of it doesn't really have any good like melee perks, really. But that's okay. Well, let's see what see what we what we what we get from the leveling, huh? If it loads. It might just crash, which would be funny. Oh, that's solid snake on my timeline with huge knockers. Nice. Well, loading screen, you gonna load or am I gonna die? No, look at that. Oh, ooh. <laughs> ah, funny story in my timeline. So, you, if you know about manga leaking, uh, JJK obviously sort of needed the leaks because John Weary is a son of a bitch and a terrible um, translator, but it, leaking sort of spread around more. And other leakers get stopped by le legalities, but an undead un unluck leaker stopped leaking because he wanted to read it on the when the chapter dropped. It was just as simple as. That's so funny. And Kagurabachi leakers, well, they don't they they shun you they shunt you out, which is very funny. Okay, I'm not loading here. Uh, if you made this far in the video, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. We're done. I am not your mother, but you better brush your teeth. Now have a good one. Bye-bye.